guys, what's up? It's Joe Reddy from Reddy's Rides. I'm back here at Furman Mini in Palm River, Florida, and we have another pocket rocket for you. This is a 2019 Mini Cooper S, but this is not just any Mini Cooper S. This is a special one. This is the Ice Blue Edition. Limited numbers. You see that beautiful ice blue color? It's also got some special features, which we'll get to in a second. Let's talk about Mini. Where the heck did they come from? They came obviously from England, goes all the way back to 1957. There was the Suez Canal oil crisis, and that caused some people to say, hey, we need some cheap transportation, cars that could get around and are good on gas. There was a gentleman by the name of Sir Leonard Lord, famous with Morris garages, and him and his big engineer got together, and by 1959, they created Mini. Another name associated with that famous brand is John Cooper. Very famous uh, British racing driver, did his business on the John Cooper Works team, won so many rallies, including the most prestigious Monte Carlo rally. But let's go ahead and dive into this 2019 Mini Cooper S. Right off the bat, what I love about these is that I don't care if you're squinting if your eyes are crossed or if you're half blind when you see one you know it's a mini iconic shape like a porsche 911 or a volkswagen golf gti i love the oval headlights part of the package with that ice blue edition is you're getting full led lighting i love the fog lamps down low and that open grill area just very aggressive i love all the different areas where air is going to flow into because remember underneath that bonnet because remember, we're talking about an English car here, British car, bonnet, under the bonnet is a two liter inline four turbocharged engine. We gotta get tons of air to the radiator, to the intercooler to make the most horsepower. And that's the thing, when you see the S, this one has more power than your standard Mini. So that's just something to know about the brand. There's that iconic logo. You have also the iconic hood scoop. Now I'm gonna zonk the hood scoop. That's the only thing I'm zonking on the front because it's not functional. I wish that it did something. But let's go ahead and we go around the fender. I just love the parts that are extended. Really gives it personality. When we get to the fender area, I like the flat black. 17 inch wheel gloss black works perfect with the ice blue. I like the way they took the ice blue and put it even into the center cap here with the mini name badge. As we go down, this is the wing. Fenders are wings of the car. So as we go into the wing, that's how they say it in, in, in uh, England, you have the side marker light, little bit of chrome, there's that S badging, and a nice marker light there. Now, overall, I think the proportions of a mini are perfect. They hit it spot on. Now, if you park this to a traditional mini, much, much smaller but overall still has that character to it, that personality. And that's what's so much fun about being at a dealership like Furman Mini. They have so many different colors, so many different styles, and each one is unique to itself. I like on the A pillar how they blacked it out, really gives the roof line a nice look. You'll see that you have a full panoramic sunroof. I like the blacked out mirror as well, a very nice touch, and as we go towards the rear, Nice chrome trim on the door handles. And what I think is smart is how they take the trim and go all the way around to the bonnet area. That's what they call the trunk space over in England. Really cool looking spoiler, nothing too high. It has some nice shape to it and it is functional. And then once again, just like on the front, they hit the nail on the head with making this look like a Mini. When you see it, you know that this is a Mini Cooper S with that extra performance, I love the twin exhaust smack dab in the center. If I am gonna zonk it, it would be the, the faux vetting back here, but you know what? It still looks good, so I'm happy about that. But why don't we go ahead and pop the bonnet and see what's happening underneath there. All right, guys, the bonnet is popped. What I do like about the Mini is some of the wing is actually built into the bonnet area. So nice, large, open area. There is that two liter inline four turbocharged engine. When we're looking at power in a Mini Cooper S, you're looking at 189 horsepower, 207 foot-pounds of torque. The wonderful thing, thank you, thank you Car World, is that you could get this car in a six-speed automatic 
or a six-speed manual transmission, and that's what's so wonderful is that they keep the driver engagement. So many brands are getting rid of the manual transmission. Zero to 60 in this John Cooper S, you're looking at about 6.4 seconds, depending on how you could dance on your twinkle toes, and weighing in at around 2,800 pounds. This is what I like. This sticks to the heritage of Mini. And when you drive a car like this, you're not just driving a car A to B, you're driving a tradition, a heritage, a wonderful icon. Why don't we go ahead and fire this one up? guys we're inside the 2019 mini cooper s that special ice blue edition let's talk about price you're probably wondering msrp for this one the way that you see it is thirty six thousand dollars with that ice blue edition package you're going to get the led uh, headlights you're going to get the panoramic sunroof you're getting these beautiful heated seats and some driver assist parts but let's see what else you get for the price let's go to the door panels now Door panels have a lot of black, but I like the way that they use the gloss black on the panel. The best part too is you're not really gonna be putting your hands on those locations, so you don't really have to worry about fingerprints. I like the personality in the handle to open up the door. It's like a C-shape, that chrome handle with the unlock and lock buttons integrated into it. The armrest is a rubber style material and it's hard as a rock, so I am gonna have to zonk that. But other than that, just the door panel that has a lot of personality for a car that has a lot of personality another thing you get Harman Kardon sound system with that ice blue so as you come into the dash area soft material like the gloss black I like the different shape of the AC vents on the side and the round one and I I'm starting to fall in love with this little command center here so you could go in there and you could set all of your intelligent safety features with front, uh, front end collision and all that kind of stuff but then also, it's a touch screen. So you could go in here, you could get into your navigation, you could get into your different features. As we pan down, you have your simple controls. There's no dual climate. So you have your simple controls for your AC. And then as we work our way down, heated seats like I pointed out, and then you do have a sport button. So as you flip up on this switch, there's our, our Mini. Now I wish it would be cool if the icon was our exact Mini, but you put in sport mode and it's gonna set up a different parameter with the way the car drives. And I like these toggle switches. It makes it feel like an old school rally car. Start, stop switch right here. Little cubby area, two USBs and a 12 volt tucked all the way in there. You do have LED lighting. I don't know if that's showing up on my fingertips, but there's LED lighting in there. Two cup holders. And then, like I said, here's the magic. Slick shifting, six-speed transmission. I love the style of it. The shift knob is a little annoying. I wish it was just a leather shift knob rather than this plastic on the side. But you know what? The shifts are fairly short and very, very crisp. I like the leather shift boot with the red stitching. And then because Mini is owned by BMW, you get a BMW-style iDrive controller. So if we go back to the infotainment system, which I, I'm really falling in love with this little round design here. It's just so different than any other car. You could actually go through the little function. So I could go into my Mini. You see the beautiful LED lighting. You go into vehicle settings. You could set up all your different settings if you want to go back. Um, to the navigation, you just hit navigation and you're there. So just really neat how they have all that functionality right here for you. Good old fashioned e-brake. I'm gonna zonk that it's a rubber handle, but they do have a leather style material around the, the boot of the, the uh, e-brake. And then you have this little tiny armrest, which is as hard as a rock. It's at a good height, but the best part of it is you could just flip it up out of the way. Inside, the only thing you're gonna fit in here is a cell phone, that's about it. Seats seats are great you have this leather center top and bottom and then you have this really nice cloth fabric that has a plaid design to it and then i really like the thigh extensions that are built into the seat well done the only problem is is that they're full manual control and at thirty six thousand dollars i would like to see some electric and then of course we have that panoramic sunroof which is awesome that comes with this limited edition color package. But why don't you come on over to the business end and I'll show you what's going on behind the wheel. All right guys, business end, you know what? 
I'm liking what I see. Now, if you look, they have a nice touch here. Even though this isn't a John Cooper Works, you got the John Cooper Works badge down here. This is a Mini Cooper S. I love the aluminum pedals down there. Good size dead pedal. And then really, this is my favorite part of the interior. I love the steering wheel. Nice size. I love the John Cooper Works uh, logo there. And I like the red contrast stitching all the way around the inside. Buttons are very easy to understand and simple to use, and they blend in well to the wheel. I like the style of the horn button. And then this is one of those things that I like some features of it, and I hate others. So I like the way that it has a large gauge in the center. The problem is I wish this was the tachometer and the speedometer was on the side. You have the ta tachometer on the left, speedometer in the middle. You have a gear indicator. You see how it tells you what gear you're in? That's a nice touch. And then a digital fuel gauge. What I like about the cluster, it looks like it belongs on a rally car. Like this thing was built for rally and they just stuck that in there. Overall seating position's great. Six feet tall, plenty of headroom. Seat is manual, but you could get a lot of different movement out of it. And the bolstering is really, really nice. I feel so connected when sitting in this thing. Let's check out where your passenger is going to be sitting in the back seat. All right, guys, we're in the back seat. This is a four door Mini Cooper S in the back seat. You know what? Six feet tall. It is what it is. With the panoramic sunroof that's going to bring the roof down, I'm going to leave a link to the um, John Cooper Works Nights Edition I did. That one was a two door with just a, a sunroof up front. I had a lot more room in the back, but the seat position, you're kind of sitting straight up which I really wouldn't want to sit back here too long. But remember, I am six feet tall, one cup holder, no USB or anything like that. So I would like to see at least one USB jack back here for the passenger. But overall, I mean, it gets the job done and I could get to where I want to go. It's just the seat is very hard, very firm, and very straight up and down. There's no armrests. You can see on the back of the seats, they do cut out a little bit to give you some more knee room. But uh, if you're ready, let's go ahead and check out the boot. All right, guys, time to check out the boot of the Mini. Real simple uh, button, and it lifts up so effortlessly. Pretty good amount of room with the seats up. If you need to put the seats down, it's real simple. You pull up on the handle, and you flop them down in a 60-40 split. Let me show you all the way down. Plenty of room. And what's wonderful about the boot of the Mini is how wide the opening is. That's always a big issue for getting those wider things in and out of the Mini. But if you're ready, I'm ready to take this one for a spin. Let's right, do guys, it. We're leaving firm in Mini. We're in the 2019 Mini Cooper S. Right away, just like my last review, which remember I will have that at the end of the video, the clutch is feather light. So if you wanna still have that great engagement in the driving experience, but you're concerned that, hey, um, my left foot is gonna cramp up because I got a high traffic situation. I'm telling you right now, take one of these for a spin because the clutch is feather light. Let's do some acceleration. So like I said, this doesn't have as much power as that John Cooper works we did because that one had 228 horsepower. This has 187 horsepower. You do notice the difference, but you know what? It still makes it a fun, enjoyable drive, and that's what I really like about these minis. Visibility is a snap in this thing, and you would think, oh my God, I wouldn't be able to see out of the windows and whatnot. It's really easy to see. Remember, the car is front-wheel drive, um, and I'm not doing any uh, dead stop starts to look for uh, torque steer or anything like that, but 187 horsepower, it's gonna get the job done. The most important thing though, is that if you're looking for drag racing, this isn't the car for you. This is where you take it down a curvy road and automatically, even going down the straight road, I can feel just how connected the steering wheel is to those front wheels. It almost feels like an old school hydraulic steering pump that's how good the feedback is from this wheel. And I, when it comes to just types of wheels, I love the style of this wheel. The thickness of it is spot on perfect. Now I know some of you in the last review brought up questionable uh, reliability and whatnot with the uh, minis. You do get a four year 
um, 60,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty. So that is one thing that's really nice about the minis is you get a little bit extra coverage over your standard three years, 36,000 mile um, warranty. The instrumentation is easy to read. I just, like I said, I wish the tachometer was in the center. It'd make it feel more race car. Um, but other than that, the rear view mirror, slim and trim, out of the way. Your uh, panoramic sunroof controls mimic the controls down here, make it look like you're in some type of rally car. But overall, the cabin is fairly quiet and the Mini drives very, very smooth. I do it, have, do have it in Sport. You could do Sport or you could go ahead and do um, like a mid comfort setting or you could do Eco. It's really up to you. But when you go into Sport, you can feel the difference in the throttle response. You could also feel the difference in the steering. It feels really, really connected, really nice. And the fonts and graphics that they use in this thing is unbelievable. Very, very well done. When it comes to hill toe downshifting, minis have it spot on. I mean, this thing, let me go ahead and get on it a little bit because that's what it's all about, right? Third gear, on the brakes. Nice. Very nice. It's so nimble. That's what this car is all about. It's about that fun driving experience. I'm gonna see how it does during this little right-left combination. Really, it, I'm telling you, it floats like a butterfly and stings like a bee. Thank you, Muhammad Ali. That's how this thing handles. And I wish right now that I could keep this drive going. I know you know where I'm gonna say, yes, I wanna take this to North Carolina, take it on the Dragon, 318 turns and 11 miles, and this thing would be a dream come true. Just a fun, I'm telling you, just like I told Tom, when I get into these things, it puts a smile on your face. Really feels planted. I love the side bolstering. Brakes, even though you're not dealing with fancy Brembo's or anything like that, brakes work great. The gear shifter is very, very crisp. is go for the John Cooper Works. Pay a little bit more, get the John Cooper Works because you're gonna get quite a bit extra horsepower. But if you like that ice blue color, because I'm telling you, it's a color that just grabs your attention, you are getting a fun package here that makes driving what it used to be. And that's fun. If I'm gonna zonk it, yes. The tops of the door panels are as hard as a rock. This center armrest feels like it was made out of granite, but you know what? I'm still having fun and I'm enjoying driving this car. And that's what I really, really love about it. But just very smooth. And if you like a nice weighted steering wheel, it, it, it feels so connected. It just feels so connected. I, I, I enjoy driving this, but we're gonna go ahead. I'm sure you've heard me just gloat about this thing um, over and over again, but we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up and get back to Furman Mini, but I'm telling you, you gotta take one of these for a test drive. Go see Derek, take one of these for a test drive because even the seats. So number one thing before I go, steering wheel, love, love steering wheel. Seats, that's my second favorite part, I love the seats in this car. I wish there was a little bit more leather on them or Alcantara, but you know what? They hold you very well and they have a nice um, side bolstering support, which is really, really great. Really enjoying it. Now we're gonna wrap it up, so I'll see you back at Furman Mini. All right, guys, it's been another magical day here at Furman Mini. Definitely wanna give a huge thank you to Derek and Michael and everybody here at the dealership so accommodating to Radies Rides. If these are the types of cars you like to see on the channel, leave a comment in that comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you. Thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. Check out all my different forms of social media. You know what they're called. 
to all Radies Rise original content all the time. If you want to get yourself some merch, click the link in the description. It takes you right to Spreadshirt. We got to give it up to Big Guns McGee, Tom Moshner, working out around here. He actually lifted up two separate minis, one with his left arm, one with his right. Also, in between doing that, he's been posting on his new photo Instagram. It's called Mosh Photos. Definitely want to check that out. I'll put it in the video. See the true love of Tom Moshner, baby bees and flowers. So thank you, Tom, for all your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.